All right, guys, so we're going to be talking about a product that's designed in California, but made in China. So what am I talking about? Cool sunglasses. Nice mustache. A little bit too big for the mustache. Calm it down. There you go. Let's do this. guys so dot mod has been in the game for I mean forever the, I've I've reviewed one dot mod product and that was their RTA it was a dual coil RTA I didn't think it was that bad it was golded out I'll tell you that it was bling bling for sure and uh, it would blind you if you were in the Sun but it wasn't bad now the product I'm talking about today is the dot squonk 100 watt regulated and you know it's made in China they consider themselves high-end they try to make their products look super luxurious super nice now this is gonna be a mainstream um, I, I don't consider this high-end to be honest okay I mean I know a lot of people think it's high-end because of the price but I believe this is mainstream but it's a higher quality product in some aspects now we will see some of the stuff down below and I'll talk about it so let's dive down and uh, yeah let's do this alright guys so this is the packaging the little gem ski itself comes in now you're gonna see it's a nice typical dot mod box it has the gold inlay with the black package it says dot mod looking at the side it's gonna show you your mod barcode barcode the other on the back is a little bit of the statistics about the mod uh, B21 to use it that kind of stuff what's in here dot mod, dot squonk 100 USB cable and a silicone bottle now it is a little bit difficult to get this bitch out of here but that's because there's no cutouts for your fingers but it is a nice box nonetheless looking at the bottom of the inside of the top of the box uh, just a nice uh, little bit of aesthetics you know dot mod is pr pretty much known for having aesthetically pleasing boxes if that makes a difference to anyone but yes it is kind of nice just a little bit extra a little bit different from your norm Taking a look here, this is where your mod's gonna sit, depending on what color you get, you know. Pull this little drawstring up of the foam-esque deal. You're gonna get a little package, and inside the package you're gonna have instructions, a certificate of authenticity, and it's gonna be 2773, 2733 rather. So they sold quite a bit of these. Uh, I don't know if that goes by color or if that just goes by every mod. I would imagine it goes by color. Warning, and I believe there's two stickers. So that's, you know, a little bit of extras. So sitting here is going to be your extra bottle, and it's going to be the color of your mod, I believe. Um, this is the bottle that will come in standard. It is just a, you know, clear silicone bottle. It does have a Dot Squonk logo right here. And, uh, yeah, not bad, not bad bottle. Not the best I've ever seen. That is airtight, so if you want to have an extra bottle with your e-juice, there you go. And then the last thing that comes in the package is a charging cable and I guess if you wanted to do firmware updates or if if there is any now it is weird because it is the iPad or I you know Apple style charge right here and then it does open up to a type B which goes right back into there USB on this side so yeah it's kinda nice um, I don't know why they have this one I don't think that's the one that actually goes into the mod I could be wrong but yeah not a bad cable nonetheless a little bit different I believe that they include that in most of their products, to be honest. The last little extra is going to be an 18650 battery adapter. Not bad. Plastic. I believe that's supposed to be gold-plated, so if it is, then yeah, there you go. Taking a look at the little gem ski itself, let's start off with the just the aesthetics. Um, not, not a bad-looking mod, to be honest. Uh, the button's nice. It clicks, but it doesn't fire um, from the sides. You do got to click in the middle. So if you're trying to fire from the bottom or the top, it doesn't fire, but firing from the middle, you're good to go. If you do hold it down like that, I guess you'd be good to go as well. So looking at the bottom, there are two little finger cutouts on both sides. This does say made, uh, designed in California, made in China. So this is a Chinese product. So looking at this, you've got a gold little logo right there, three magnets, a decent size squonk hole for your thumb or whatever 
finger you're going to use, I guess. Three magnets that correspond there. It does say dot mod right there, so some more branding, if you will. Now, the bottle itself is a proprietary bottle, and um, it doesn't really make me angry, but it doesn't really make me happy. I'm glad they at least included two. Now, they should have included a second one of these valve pieces because, you know, this means that you're going to have to make sure you have both of the same e-juices in both because if not, you only have one tube. Now, I do recommend, since they, the tube is rather long, if you can see it, kind of cut the tube at a triangle. That way, if it does sit up against, it won't prevent you from getting your squonk liquid back down in. Now, as you'll see, it'll just go right up into that little gasket, and it's not a very hard system, and, you know, for the most part, everything's dry, just like that, good to go. Now, sometimes it does be, it gets affected by, like, what I like to call uh, VT inbox syndrome. Uh, if you squonk sometimes and the bottle's full, you will catch yourself going like that. It's nowhere near as bad as the VT inbox because it is so well placed in here, but you will have that problem sometimes. And the last part that I'm really going to show you is the battery compartment. You'll see right there is for where your buttons are, three magnets as well. Now, I believe one of the magnets is hidden right there because, as you can see, I, actually all the magnets are pretty much hidden, and this one will go with your battery. You have your chip window right there, little drawstring. Now, be careful because you're going to want this to be tucked away. If not, the door will uh, move around a little bit, so make sure you put your uh, ribbon somewhere good. Okay, so looking at the board itself. I have it in temperature control mode right now because I wanted to show you if you hold the positive and fire, it will light up your wattage. Well, it's not doing it right now. Okay, so right now we're going to be looking at the board and if I'm in temperature control mode right now, so if you hold the negative, plus the fire, it will take you to your wattage, so you can actually control your wattage in temperature control mode. Now it does go by 0.5 increments, which is weird, so let's get out of this and go to the menus. The menu, you got nickel, titanium, stainless steel, settings, power mode, which is your wattage, bypass, and curve. Bypass is going to act as a mech mod, and as you see, it just is always 100 watts. Power mode is wattage, like I said. They do have a curve. I do not use this often, so I cannot really give you any uh, insight about this. Uh, four clicks will lock your power, meaning you cannot change your wattage with up or down, but you can still fire. Three clicks, I'm going to go back to power mode. Three clicks, now I'm going to go back to settings. And this is where your themes are. You got black, this is multicolor. As you can see, it's green, red, blue, yellow. Tiffany blue, uh, purple. Well, that's Tiffany blue, so this is space gray, sorry. Purple, Tiffany blue, red, blue, gold, and black. I like the black, so I will be sticking with the black. One last thing I'm going to show you about this is watch the time down here. That's not right. That's saying that I vaped for 1 minute and 40 seconds. That's something that needs to be fixed, whether it's firmware update or just in future mods. Not sure if Dot Mod will see this, but look, there's no way that doesn't look like a minute and 20 seconds because there's the two dots, 20 seconds. I understand what they're trying to say, 1, 1.2 seconds, but that's not how you do it. So that needs to be fixed. But yes, guys, that is the dot squonk. I thought I would give you a closer look. And just to let you know, they did send me a vape mat, and this will not affect my review in any way, but I do thank you, Dot Mod, for sending me this vape mat. It's very nice, and it will be used. So, one last look, guys. Uh, I did test out whether or not the multicolor screen kills battery life more. It doesn't really look like it, so I think you're good on whatever screen you do. But yes, that is the Dot Squonk. One last look, guys. I went with the Royal Blue, and yes, it's very nice. A little bit slippery. Nice in the hand, though. So yeah, that's the biochip sitting on top. Looks very fancy with this, so let's go back up on top, guys. Alright, guys, so if there's one thing that's ever for sure in this world, that's the fact that I'm going to try to keep this short, sweet, and to the mother effing point. Alright, so, you know, Dot Mod doesn't need any any kind of, you know, grand party for me. Everybody knows who they are. You know, they're a company in California that makes their, that their products are produced and made in China. So, that being said, that doesn't necessarily make this 
a bad product, but it doesn't, in my mind, make this high end. And that's where they kind of they kind of make themselves out to be this luxurious high end brand. Now, I don't really agree with that. I think this is mainstream. I think it's slightly better quality than most mainstream products, so I will give them that. I do like how the mod looks itself. I like the sleekness of it. Uh, so let's start off with positives. I'm feeling very happy today. My mod matches my shirt. It matches my feelings. Wait, I'm not blue, but it matches my shirt. All right, so I like the gold uh, inlays. I like the gold accents. It really goes well with an Ultim mod. Now you're going to say, well, Ultim isn't gold, it's yellow. But, well, it matches, okay? Um, it matches quite well. Uh, the ramp up time is okay. It's not the best I've ever seen. The chip is nice because it is simple. It's nothing too uh, complex. You don't have to fiddle around with it. Now, I do like the fact that the buttons are basically hidden. This thing is sleek. It feels nice. It's a small little mod. Get 100 watts if you need it. Uh, ramp up time, okay, like I said. Uh, I like that they cover the positive and negative buttons. I like that this is the only button you see. It's very nice. The magnets on this thing are very nice. They hold the door in very well. There is no door shaking, no button rattle. I like that they included the drawstring to get the battery out. It's very nice. All those things are very good. I think those are, you know, a lot of things about this make it very nice. I like the fact you have the little cutouts for the finger. You can, you know, take your doors off if you need to. I like that they include the bottle that matches the actual mod, so that's pretty nice. And the last thing I really like about this thing is the fact that it is a 21700, 2700, 18650. That can't be overlooked. I mean, for the size of the mod, it is relative size of, you know, I mean, that's a theory on. It's about the same width, but it's nice, you know. It's rounded to where it doesn't feel too obtrusive in the hand. Ergonomically, it's there. Um, I'm going to take a quick little hit. doesn't really matter about anything, but... All right, so let's get to the negatives. Um, the first thing is the they need to fix that time thing because according to the hit I just took, it was a 4 minute and 40 second hit. Now, that's not right. Now, I'm being nitpicky, yes, but that is something they need to fix. Whether it's firmware, updatable, they need to fix that. Uh, sometimes it, it is affected by the VT inbox syndrome to where you put your thumb in, the door will move a little bit, but not nearly as bad as the VT inbox. You can get away with you know putting your finger in there quite nice and it'll be alright. But that is something that happens slightly. Uh, another thing I don't like is the squonking system itself. It doesn't suck back juice uh, fast. It's actually quite slow. Now, I think if you were to cut the tube a little bit more than I did, it might help that, but that's something that happens. It, it doesn't suck back as good as I would like. And the last negative to me is going to be the price. Uh, the price is in that 130 range. I think it would have been better at about 100. Now, that's just my opinion. I do believe at about 100 that would have made this a great deal. I think 130 is a little bit much. I think for what you're getting, how simple the board is, I mean, it's not a DNA chip in any way. Yes, it is a nice, aesthetically pleasing mod, but I think 130 is just a little bit too much. I think that 99 to to $100 range, even 105 I know that's only a $25 difference, but I really think that would have been the ideal price. I think 130 is a bit much. You know, I see a lot of high-end devices come through my, my workspace, and I do believe this is about... I mean, no more than 100. I think 100 would have been a great deal for this, but 130 where it's at, I think it's a good mod for someone who's just getting into squonking, too. I think it's actually a good beginner mod to have. You know, the board's simple. You don't have to fiddle with a lot of stuff. You know, you got titanium, stainless steel, and nickel, and then you're good to go. You got your bypass and your, your curve. So this is not a bad mod. I actually do like it. This will be become my mod that I use every day, maybe going out of the house with. But other than that, it, yeah, I do recommend this. I think the price is a little bit much, but you know, for what it is, you're getting a good quality device. The negatives aren't as much as the positives, so I think that you know, for what it is, it's a good it's a good device. You know, uh, I will use it. So, that being said, guys, I do thank you for watching the video. And you know what? If you like good e-juice, maybe some cotton, some tweezers, maybe you should go check out Premium Vape Supply. Use my discount code. Get 20% off your whole purchase. Whether that's here, or here, or maybe here, or here. And, yes, that's all I can do for you. 
Lastly, go check out a couple Facebook groups, whether that's Rock Bottom Squonk, Squonktopus, or Squonk America. Great groups, great people. You can find some great products, meet some great folks, talk about some vape stuff. I don't know, you know, whatever tickles your fancy, I guess. And on Mondays, make sure you come check us out, whether it's me, Eric the Vaping Politician, and William, Mr. Bill from Cooper's Vaping View, and that's all I can tell you. Come visit us every Monday on the live. So yes, thank you guys, and let's do this.